Hello, welcome to Create Full Art. I am so happy that you are here to relax and paint with me today and paint cherry blossoms. In this first step, we're going to paint the background, grab your wash brush, and you can use your light teals, your blues, and your grays, and you can even add white to those colors to create a light background. You can mix those colors or leave choppy brush strokes. Blending those colors together, you just go over the area you want blended multiple times. And if you want to leave choppy brush strokes, you can just put your brush down and then leave that area and then go to another area. That's how you get that look. So I have my bristle brush here and my pink and a little bit of white and I just pull from that brush with my finger and let go and it splatters. You can also flick if you would like. Now we're going to paint the branch or the stem. You want to grab your number six to eight brush. If you have a Japanese brush, that works too. Put black on that brush and basically you're following the branch right here. Now you may notice that I don't add all the branches that end up being in the final painting because in the last steps you can add details, your personal preferences, and that's when I added some of those. If you want to add a little bit more of a realistic look, you could add some of the gold color to the branch just for some highlights. This is my impressionistic painting, so I'm going to go on to my flowers. I'm just going to add that maroon color to my brush and then just start getting this down, making blobby, quick, very loose brush marks and I'm not going for realism here so I'm just going to give the idea that these are blossoms. So now I have a clean brush. You don't have to have it perfectly clean, but I have a clean brush and I have this small round brush. You can also use a small filbert brush. That's where the end is rounded. And I'm just adding the light pink to the edge of some of my petals. Almost all of my petals, but not all of them.
Of course, I have more in the lesson that goes along with this workshop that will make this lesson complete and make more sense to you. I'm adding the dark back into some of the areas. So anytime you find you want to have more of the dark areas in your painting or you want to add light areas in your painting, you can always put them back in. Nothing's permanent. So I'm just going to add the light color to just a few places on the blossoms. And I want you to look at the reference photo to see how I placed those and how it's changed the look of my artwork. You can see it's starting to soften the look here of my painting and my petals. So I'm going to add a little bit of these lines with the tip of my brush just to some of the centers of the flower. So now I'm going to go ahead and add with the tip of my brush in the green, you can also use black, some of the stems going towards the branch that are supposed to connect these blossoms. Now, I don't have to connect all the blossoms because I can use that to be more impressionistic, okay? But I'm going to connect the ones I want. I'm gonna add in a little bit of some leaves and a little green at the bottom of each of my buds. I can add little lines at the end of the buds or just a little dot at the bottom of the bud. Just depends on what you want and the look you're going for. I can also go on the sides of the bud, just like leaves were on the very sides of it before it popped open. So in this last step, it's all about adding the final details and that follows your personal preferences. So I added some of these leaves and these stems in this last step. I'm also going to use the metallic gold to be the pollen on the tip of those lines that I had in the center of the blossom. I would love to see how your finished artwork looks. You can share it with me if you're a Create Flart member in our community, or you can also share it with me on Instagram by tagging it with at createfulart. Whether you absolutely love the results of your painting or you don't, sign your work and be proud of taking this time. I hope you enjoyed your time to relax with me. I hope you learned a lot from this lesson and I look forward to teaching you more in our next lesson. Thank you again for joining me.